Welcome back to Freestyle Metal X. This is level 5, Downtown Destruction. And this time I'm going to choose the smallest engine class, the uh, 125. And I see why it's called the Spiky. This bike needs no customizations. It's It looks cool already. It's spiky as shit. I feel like if there were more pieces that had cool additions like spikes and stuff, that would be cool most of the... Uh, most of the pieces you could choose are just different colors or shapes, but they, you've got like the bowl horn uh, handlebars and then the spikes on that. I, if there were more of those, that'd be cool. You should be able to add like flamethrowers and shit. Like, not like all kinds of weapons, but like something like maybe while you're driving or something, it just shoots fire out the sides just for just to look cool or like when you charge your engine or whatever yeah. like not only does it shoot fire out of the exhaust pipes but also the flamethrowers that are connected to the sides as well right yeah so this is downtown destruction this is like the main city level of the game and so this is going to feature the most rooftop action if that's your thing what about grinding Yes, some grinding? more gr more grinding than normal. Good. It's also going to feature some massive frame rate drops. So that's, oh, that's my favorite. So that's not your computer. Well, it's probably not your computer. Uh, if it is, it, it could be. If but it is your computer, you need a new computer probably. Even on my even on the PS2, you'll see that uh, the frames start dropping quickly whenever there's you know buildings on screen, <laughs> which is nice. <laughs> oh my god! Really? Like, just having buildings, oh well, my god, I can already <laughs> see it! It's just like, it has no idea what to do with the draw distance. Yeah. What draw distance? It's like, 14 feet. Yeah. Yeah. A four, like, <laughs> I'd like to play a game which is like, got a draw distance that short, but it's like a racing game or something. Or maybe like a go-karting game or something, and like, obstacles come out of nowhere, where, like... Where every level is a fog level. Yeah, exactly. Every level is like a fog level, and then like, as like, once you beat the game, you can turn off the fog as like an extra, but it just makes the game unplayable because the frame rate's too low. Like, you could literally see <laughs> as far as the map goes out. Yeah, like, just as far as possible, and it's like literally half a frame per second. Like, there's no option in the middle. There, yeah, there's. it's just fog on, fog off. Wow, you <laughs> took out two people. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was so, beautiful. So, think about Downtown Destruction. There's a lot of jumps and a lot of... And, and you know, it's, it's cool to finally find the jump that gets you up on top of a certain building. But there's usually only, like, one or two of those, and they're kind of hard to find sometimes. Um, your first time through the level... You, you might not know how to get to some of the challenges. You might just be kind of stuck. I know you're about to go, wait, what the fuck? And yes. I was about to ask if this level does feature the destruction that the name promises. And I guess it does? Everyone complains that our trains work too well. So, so let's destroy them and yeah. possibly kill people. Yeah. Um, wow. Uh, this is the chapter of my story where uh, you... you uh, you join a uh, shadow organization, and they make you prove your loyalty by uh, by killing innocents. By killing innocents, you know. And then, and then he, and then he th the, then you throw in a uh, a courage the cowardly dog reference, and he's like, the things I do for love, and everyone goes, what? <laughs> Probably not. No. <laughs> oh, I love that show. That's a good look for you on the ground, <laughs> <laughs> face <laughs> down. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so... Oh, you didn't do any of that wobbly shit during that one. Oh, oh well, there's enough time for wobbly wait, shit. So wait. the first time I played, I thought the sign would just drop through, but nope. The oh whole, my fuck! The whole walkway, with people probably in it. Oh my god. Drop the sign! Yeah! Wait, how did the sign dropping do that? That's... That was a heavy sign. But the main question is, are we are we doing more damage and killing more innocent people than in Aggressive Inline? Uh, I don't know. Any given level, like the Quest. worst the worst level in there, like, well, I mean, for human life. Right, right. The most... Oh, right, you saw this one. You also saw me play through this level. This one, um, maybe you could say that no one was in that walkway and... 
no one will be riding the trains. For right, like you could argue few. that no, but you didn't see anybody you didn't die. Actually, yeah. You didn't see anyone die. Here, here, we are cold, unrepentant oh. killers. <laughs> watch. Just and watch listen. people. Deafening silence. Let me just, just soak it. Oh god. And that shadow. And what do we get for as our reward? A loop! <laughs> Woo! Yeah, you killed somebody! I'd kill someone if it was the only way I could do a loop to loop, you know? Oh my god. That I That's <laughs> That was just like he just died. Like there's yeah. no there was no There's no way he could land on a big okay, pile of air like airbags or Right, there was no airbags or anything down there or anything for him to land on. I mean granted that would have killed you, but you respawn, he doesn't. But maybe he does respawn. He does. Maybe everyone maybe everyone in this universe respawns. Well here including I... my dad. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Shit. It's like why am I doing all of this? Yeah. Dadle's just gonna respawn oh, in a well, few I'm, minutes. I'm, I'm, I'm five words into the story, so uh, I guess, you know, I've still got time to work out the kinks like that. Yeah. Um uh, I have a question about your LP series in general. Go ahead. So how how many of these games would, do you think that I would say you killed somebody? <laughs> or at least killed at least one person. Um should I just start listing them off? Or, or here, better question, which ones haven't you killed anybody in? Um do Did you kill anybody in wakeboarding? I don't think so. And d does killing mean falls off their uh their ride of choice and respawns. Like, just hold on, hold on. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Look oh yeah, that. look at that man ass whip. Ooh, oh yeah. Uh, this uh, this this episode's um, second alternative ti alternative title is I don't know man ass whip. The first, it's actually the name of the level. The first is of course Down Syndrome Destruction <laughs> off of Doug Parsons. Yeah. But, uh, so so uh, does me falling off my bike and respawning count as me dying? I'm not talking about you dying, I'm talking about other, other people, people dying. dying. Alright. Then, uh, aggressive inline, probably. Oh god. <laughs> well, you got murdered right there, but... Yeah. Okay, so you definitely killed someone in this game. Yeah. Aggressive inline, I'm pretty sure you killed someone. Aggressive inline, we didn't actually see any direct deaths, but they can be implied. Right. They can um, be implied. Then, what else? So, uh, this is really the only game where I've killed someone on camera. I think <laughs> that's so. That's true, that's yeah. true. I didn't. It didn't have to be a stretch of the imagination to see that as murder. Yeah, yeah. Any jury watching that would go, Dear God, he's a murderer. <laughs> like, that's an open and shut case right there. Yeah. And he did it for the worst reason possible. Yeah. It was her ex-boyfriend who has the most... Uh, underappreciated job yeah. of window washer and you just killed him. Yeah. Okay, what what are the games? What are I, the games? I really think those are the only two games maybe. Um, oh no, no. I'm sure I mean what about Freak Style? Did you kill anybody in Freak Style? Well Freak Style was just racing, That's so true. I don't I don't really think you can kill someone in racing games except for like split second or whatever other yeah, game that's you true. could like actually take people out as part of the mechanic. Oh, uh, oh, Down uh, Downhill Domination, I threw people off their bikes, but I don't think I killed them at any point. I think at one point you may have tossed a couple off cliffs or something. You hit them with a water bottle, they go flying off a cliff or something, and then I would consider that murder. Alright, well... Or dunking them into lava. Then, that oh, is also by murder. the way, this chick's into water sports. Didn't some other? She's the only person did, into water sports. Didn't some didn't uh wasn't there some other character in a game before this I played that was also everybody in wakeboarding unleashed. Yeah, yeah. And everybody then, in wakeboarding unleashed was into water sports. I would think. And then of course my entire water sports month with uh, Jet X Two O Splashdown. Oh yeah. I was gonna do wakeboarding unleashed right after those to to keep it going, but then I was like, you know what? No, it's not actually that funny. Yeah. And it's not that funny, it's just like, what the fuck? So, uh, for our- for my efforts in draining this fountain, well... How did you drain the fountain? I, uh, what I destroyed the water pipes that oh, I guess okay. were carrying the water on the okay. outside of the building. Okay, that doesn't really make any sense. So the fountain drains, so I'm like, there should be an incentive to go down there, right? 
And by the way, also just when you think the game is frozen. Right, this you know, is taking saving. forever. <laughs> saving, thinking. I don't know if they're loading something or what, or if they just really... <laughs> so, for our efforts in going down here, there's a dude down here. <laughs> who runs up the wall. <laughs> Jesus. And then a daredevil ticket. And then a gap. You hit someone, but I don't. I wouldn't consider that murder. I'm just douche. Well, I did run straight into that cop, Villa Brava. That's true. And you speared those dudes on your on your uh, bike horns, like that dude you were about to spear. Oh um, no, these are all school kids. Oh good, you're going to kill children. No, actually, they uh, they dodge you all the time, so it you know can't show kid violence. Oh, okay, so they, they always dodge you. There's no way yeah. for you to hit them. So there's... I thought you were going to spear them to the bus or something. <laughs> there's a bunch of them, and they're all on preset paths, and you have to ride leisurely behind them and uh, get them to the bus. And here I was trying to see if I could get all six kids... In one go? In one go. You, like hurting you, them. You can't. The max is four at a time. Oh. But some of them are on different parts of the same path. Others have different paths. But it's not hard at all. You just ride behind them. They won't run off the uh, path. You oh, can't. They... You can't really screw it up unless you run out of time. Oh. Um. I would just say that if I was on a school field trip and I want, didn't want to get back on the bus, I don't think it would make me feel more comfortable about school to have a dude on like a motorcycle driving up behind me, threatening to kill me. Wait. <laughs> like he killed those other people. What is it? What is the? What is it with this game and school trips? First, there was the bad school trip in a Seaside Smash, That's true. where some kids got kidnapped, and then there's us uh, chasing after these kids as they fear for their lives. See, I was about to say maybe they're trying to appeal to a younger, like younger people, by like associating them with things that that they might recognize. But I don't see how you could. I I wouldn't feel better about playing this yeah. game, I wouldn't feel more like they were trying to connect with me with them suggesting that you should just run down children yeah. with your motorcycle. Yeah. Like, they're trying to appeal to, to I guess, like, teenagers, young adults who is like, fuck society and shit, and then Cindy's all like, school is so important. Yeah. By the way, so you've been waiting for your man-ass whip? I got it right here. Uh, oh! Oh, you uh, think this is just, you think just that's an appetizer? It? That's just the start, it. and then <laughs> whoa. whoa! Oh god! <laughs> whoa. Jesus Christ! What? He could go all the way, and he does. Oh, that was you, you could do so much without flying off the rails. I had a crisis. Right there? Yeah, I just had a crisis. What type of crisis? You know, the kind that. Uh, but like, what was the what was the reason behind the crisis? No, the man ass whip. I had, you know, one of those kinds of crises. Uh, uh, do you feel like you you haven't seen enough, or that you'll never get it out of? Your I need head? to change my pants. All right, you may want to do so in the next ten seconds because there's one final moment of supreme man ass whip. Well, then why would I want to do it? Oh God! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> it's like the meter doesn't matter at all. Pretty much doesn't. Oh, for a second I thought it was about to, like, kill the frame rate. Yeah, you earned contortionist. Yeah. Alright, cool. Downtown destruction. Challenges mode. Seriously, he's, he's scaring me. He, 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 he looks like he's smiling, but his eyes look so sinister. Yeah, he's like, like, he's the least human. Like evil. He's the le you know, I'm gonna go back through all of your old videos and ca make a count of how many people you killed and leave that as a comment on this video. Or leave it as a comment in my thread. I'll do both. Yeah. I'll do both. Yeah. Yeah, I wanna run. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah, yeah uh, until uh, we yeah, just yeah. quit the run. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I might rock. I could rock. Yeah. Da, 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 it's da, within da, 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 my da, da, power. To rock. To rock. To rock. Rock! But uh, another good thing about this level freestyle mode, there's a lot of stuff to do. Um, it's not like you're trying to find ramps and you're like, where the fuck are the ramps? You know, it's a tricking paradise. Do you like tricking? God, <laughs> Nice and tricking. Oh, yeah, no, that's tricking. Do you get to kill the dude again? 
Uh, well, oh, you, God. you can crash at any point unless you meant the window washer. The window case, washer. I'm pretty sure he's dead after you uh, do that. Well, challenge. you know the rocks are are uh, just come back in that one level. So there's, who's to say that he's you can't just kill him over? I and don't over? know. I never actually. Well, actually, if you could just kill him over and over, I wouldn't consider that death. Because okay. he keeps coming back to life. And the people that respond, like Dave Miro, when I knocked him over, he came back. I could knock him over again. He You're didn't come back on screen. I turned around, and he was there. That's because he rewound time. <laughs> okay, anyway, for this, I'm going to do something special. All right, Blink Tester and I have seen this one LP for uh, Silent Hill Homecoming that does a bunch of like branching paths like you can choose what the guy does there are like two options and uh, I think you know he does that those videos are good he probably gets subscribers and fame so uh, I'm gonna do something like that you can either choose for me to win or lose this next race I'm just gonna put some uh, you know annotations on screen and you can just choose that now Alright, so you chose for me to lose the race. What a jerk. Yeah. Are you happy and now? That's it. That's, that's uh, it. That's what happens when you lose the race. Way to go. You people are assholes. Yeah. Uh, so Stick around to see him win. Yeah, so just just stick around unless you want to go back to the choice and choose it again. But, yeah, coming up, I win and I move on. Yeah. That was... That was spectacular, yeah. That was something. Should I, should I do that more often? I don't, I don't know. know. We'll it's, see how the people react. Yeah. So, you chose for me to win. So, here we go. This is uh, the Downtown Destruction Race, and I, I promise you I do win. Uh, in fact, I destroy this guy. Like, all the last previous races where I'd barely been winning, once you know how to do this race, you can, like, just destroy this guy, just like I said. Him. Just cheese him so much. The race in this level is pretty cool because... You noticed in freestyle, you noticed in the challenges mode, you were supposed to get up on top of a lot of buildings. So often checkpoints will be on top of buildings, and you have to find figure out how to get up there. That's cool. And they're not always in a straight line. Like this next checkpoint is on a building that's across, I guess, the main plaza. And naturally, I know kind of the fastest way to get to it. But if if you were racing and you thought of some other way, you know, you could get up there that way. The race seems a lot more open-ended because, I guess, there was branching paths to get to a certain point. Now, of course, it's still kind of a linear race and there's other things you have to do, but, I mean, like, where there's only one path, but it feel, it, it's neat that there's some places where you can kind of choose how to get to your next objective. No. This game should have wall rides. It should have wall rides. I think wall rides would have made this game a, not a lot better, but it would have be a lot cooler. Like, yeah. in the middle of a trick, you just, like, you're turning and then you come close to a wall, so you put your wheels on the wall, and now you're riding on the wall. Yeah. That'd be dope. But could you do tricks while riding on the wall? Sure. Sure, why not? Yeah, that'd be awesome. Why not? That's metal. Oh, that's badass right yeah. there. Yeah, yeah. I mean, because right now, at this point, I don't know if walls are really friendly or not. Sometimes you hit one, you just fall over, and sometimes you just almost start riding on it until it's like oh gravity should exist oh yeah today yeah. gravity exists today gravity exists tomorrow we don't know Tonight, but, tomorrow maybe yeah but today gravity exists so uh, it, it varies based on your location in the world the right. beautiful city of uh, Stillwater sometimes oh. doesn't have gravity at all oh you I know? love Stillwater and you could just ride on the walls and just kind of float up to be perfectly frank I like Stillwater more than I like the Steelport yeah there are also um, uh, scattered showers of low gravity and of uh, a rage-inducing hormone that causes all the drivers to try to run you over. <laughs> uh, they can, a scatter... What did you say? Uh, scattered showers of low gravity and rage-induced hormones. Yeah. Known as uh, Evil Cars Low Gravity Mode. Yeah. 
pedestrian war makes yeah. it a little yeah. too hard, honestly. Yeah. And sometimes uh, when the conditions Oh, good, are... you got a $51 hospital bill. Sometimes when the conditions are just right, you might also have infinite ammo. Yeah. And never need to reload. Yeah. Yeah. You have you just have guns that does, just appear in your hands. That doesn't happen often. It's one of those summer storms. Yeah. 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 They don't fall from the sky. It just appears in your hands. It just appears, yeah. Well, that's... Uh... That's been downtown destruction. Wow, they're getting more and more degenerate looking. <laughs> this is scaring me. As uh, the uh, the writers, as you get closer to Johnny Demonic, the uh, his evil force uh, is more prevalent, and the uh, writers succumb more and more to it. Can I say the Skull Valley logo and his face both make him look like he should be in an episode of the Flintstones? <sighs> Maybe they did that intentionally, you know. Does, is is there a caveman theme for the, uh, for the Skull Valley? No, uh, the answer is no. no. Not really. I yeah. mean, there's that'd a be a gay a valley. theme for, for <laughs> a metal game. There's a valley, but all right, join us next time when we go to Skull Valley. Oh, it'd be really funny if your bike turned into one of those Flintstone mobile <laughs> things. <I love> it. <laughs> all right, all right. See you guys then. Yeah, see you next time.